CSIS 1430 is filmed before a live studio audience. So what we're looking at today is called an image map, right? We talked about this a second ago. An image map just makes your picture clickable. So I actually have a live working version of this. If I go to today's lecture notes in the modules, we are on ma magician mapping, which by the way, is the next to the last HTML lecture. Next time we meet will be our last HTML lecture, and then a week from today, CSS. That's where the magic happens, right? That's the fun stuff. But magician mapping, let's go in here. And we have, right down here, is a link to a live active version of what we're gonna be trying to make. So click on that, and here we go. This is a live version of it. These are David Blaine and Chris Angel. They're two magicians. David Blaine's on the right, Chris Angel's on the left. Notice if I hover my mouse around here, it's just a mouse, but if I get over his face, it becomes a little clicky thing, right? And then over here, get over Chris Angel's face, same thing, it becomes clicky. If I click on it, it goes to Chris Angel's website. Or if I click on Blaine's face, it goes to his website. I'm gonna hold the control key down so it opens in a new tab, but watch what happens to his face when I do that. You see that black outline there? It's a little bit of an outline right there around his face. It's hard to see, but there's a rectangle around his face but it opened up his website over here, okay? Or David Blaine. There again, there's the black rectangle. That spot in that rectangle is a link, and it opened up his page. Okay, that's the idea. That's what we want to build. It's super easy to do this. It's very easy, okay? Do the code. What do we want to do? I've got Beavis right now, but let's do something cooler. Or we can do Beavis and Butthead. I don't care. What do you guys want to do? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Perfect. So this is classic Beavis and Butthead, sitting on the couch, watching TV. And they eat nachos here, perfect. So right click on it, save image as, and we'll just do Beavis and Butthead. And we'll just change that to and Butthead JPEG. Okay, perfect. So what we're gonna do is turn this into where we can click like, you know, on his face or maybe on that chip or on this little rip in the couch or whatever, and it's gonna to go to different places. So there's one, two new tags that we're gonna to learn today that will help us do all that. One's called map and one's called area. Let's take a look at what that looks like in here. Right here, we'll just put it down below the UL, it doesn't matter where you put it. We have a tag called map, and inside of that, we have another self-closing tag, which is called area, right? We've learned Image is a self-closing tag. We learned HR and BR as self-closing tags. Uh, so we're gonna have an area and we're gonna have three of them, okay? And there are three attributes that we care about for this. The first one is called href, equals something in quotes, right? All attributes equal something in quotes. Next one is called chords, which is something in quotes. And then the last one is shape, which equals something in quotes, okay? Now take a guess at what the href is. Yeah, because remember, the href is the same thing we use in a hyperlink, right? In an anchor tag. And it's the place that you're going to link off to when you click it. So whatever goes in here will be the place that you go to when you click on his face or whatever you're clicking on, okay? So that's what goes there. Coordinates we'll talk about in a second. Shape, there are three shapes you can choose. You can do a rectangle, a polygon, or a circle, right? So let's take a look at that. For the shapes, or the chaptes, that's the... French pronunciation, I don't know, okay. There's circle, rect, and poly. Those are the actual keywords that you put in the shape attribute field, in the quotes. That's the value. Okay, here's how they work. For a circle, what you're going to put there is the X and Y position of the center of the circle and the radius of the circle. So imagine this is the image. This is that image we just looked at of Beavis and Butthead. They're sitting here on the couch, like my fancy artwork, okay? This is them sitting on the couch, and we want to make a circle that's clickable right there, right? Well, I need the X and Y position of that center of that circle, and I need the radius, in other words, the distance from here to here, right? Put those numbers in, and you'll make a circle. Now, how do you get those numbers? That's a different question. We'll deal with that in a minute, but that's what, that's what you do, okay? Next up, we have a rectangle, which is x1, y1, and x2, y2. And what I mean by that, let's say we're gonna build a square here, I'm making it larger so we can see it. 
what I need is that point right there and that point right there. I'm calling that x1 and y1. That's the x and y coordinates at the top left. And then I'm calling this x2 and y2. That's the bottom right of this, the square, and it's the x and y coordinates of that. If I put those two numbers in there, the HTML will just make the shape, okay? So it looks like that. That's the, the way you enter it, okay? Last one is poly. It's literally x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3, up to x, n, y, n, right? However many you want. And all that is, is I'm going to use over here because this is, I don't have room inside the image there. But if I wanted to make a shape like this, whatever shape I want, I need the x and y of that and of that and of each spot. I need the x and y coordinate of each one of those points. If I, have, if I put in the x and y coordinate of each of those points, then HTML will fill in the rest and it'll make the shape, right? Make sense? So let's just play around with that. Let's just go in here and we'll make a, we'll just ignore these two for just a minute. And we'll do a shape called rect and we'll do coordinates of 50, 50. So that's X and Y of the top left is 50 comma 50. And then the bottom right, we'll do 100, we'll do like 250. 250. So the bottom right corner is 250. So this picture here again, I'm claiming that this is 50-50 and this is 250-250. Right? I don't know where that is on the image. I have no idea. I'm just randomly putting it there. Okay? But I put that, and I'm not going to worry about putting a link in there right now. But if I refresh the page, it made a square right there. Now I just hit the tab key to make that square show up. Okay? Now, I could guess and sort of scoot that over by guessing that, uh, oh, I should go over another 50 and stretch it out to another, like, 300. You could do that. It'd be a nightmare to do that for everything you want to make, right? You could also, if you have Photoshop, you can take this image into Photoshop and hover your mouse anywhere on the image, and it'll actually give you the coordinates, okay? But we have a really cool tool that we're going to use, and it's inside the lecture notes down here called Image Map, right there. So... Click on this and let you upload an image right there. And now I can draw on here where I want these points to be. So notice down here I have this little tool where I can choose a rectangle, a poly, or a circle. So we'll start with a rectangle and then I'm going to do three. So we'll add another one and we'll make that one a circle. And I'll do one more and we'll make that one a poly. Okay. So the, right now the one that's selected is rectangle. So that's what I'm going to end up making because it's selected that way. All you do is find the top left corner on the image where you want and just click right there. So let's say I want to make a square, like a rectangle that kind of covers his forehead here. So I'll click right there. That's the top left. And I'll click right here at the bottom right, and it just makes a rectangle. Okay? And I can resize it by dragging up a little bit, you know, if I want to do that. I can move it to wherever I want. Okay, maybe I'll just move it to Beavis's shirt here. Maybe that's better. There. Now Metallica is clickable. Okay, let's make another one. Click on circle so we activate that. And just click wherever you feel the radius of the circle will be, wherever you want it to be. And like, can you see there's kind of a divot right there? Right? So we're going to click right there. That's the center. That's X, Y position of the center. Now click the radius. So I'm going to say the radius is about that far. And it makes a circle that big. I can grab that, make it bigger if I want to. I can also move it, put it on his head right there, whatever I want. Okay? In fact, let's leave it on his head. Looks good to me. So Beavis is going to be the clickable item. Ah, no! <laughs> For the last one, let's do a poly, right? And we can do it like, let's make this chip like a triangle. So I'm going to click on the point here, and then on the point of the chip here, and then over here. And now you can see it made a nice little triangle, and I can adjust it here a little bit if I want to. I can move the whole thing over, or I can just leave it where it was. But now that chip is clickable. So what questions do you have about that part? How to use the tool? It's pretty easy. It's a free tool, and it's great. I love it. All right. How do we get the code now? How do we get the coordinates, right? That's what we really care about. 
And so you click on show me the code. So I click on that and there's the code. Everything's there. Notice it has even a comment up there that says image map generated by whatever. It has the actual image. It has the uh, a couple things that I haven't talked to you about yet and, and then it has the coordinates and everything, right? So I'm just gonna grab all that. Even though I have a do not, you know, that little slash thingy there, do not use or whatever, it still lets me copy it. Control C or Command C if you're on a Mac. And then we come over here and right here, I'm just gonna paste it down below here. This is what the image map tool just generated for us, okay? So it says, use the image Beavis and Butthead, and it knew that because that's the image I uploaded. This part, we'll talk about these two pieces in just a minute. It has the target, the alt, the title, and the href. Now notice over here, I could have put that data right there. I could have put the link right there. And I could have put the title right there. And I could have chosen target right here. I didn't, but if I did, it would have shown up in the code. I just chose not to, okay? We're gonna ignore these attributes here, just ignore those, okay? We have the chords, shape, and the href. Those are the main ones we care about. And look, it says poly, and it has the coordinates. That's the x and y coordinate of one nacho point. That's another nacho point, and that's another nacho point, right? Here is the x, y coordinate of the center. That's the radius. Here is the x, y of the top left, x, y of the top right, or bottom right. Now, doing this, I can delete the stuff I already had here because it did it for me. And this will actually make that image clickable right here. Now, one was right here, the forehead, the circle. There it is. One was the Metallica, and one was this. Now, notice I don't have them going anywhere at the moment. So they went to a dead page, but I can easily do that. The rectangle was is Metallica shirt, so I could do Metallica's website. Okay, the next one, the circle was Beavis's head. And the last one was nachos. And of course, we have to go to the best nachos on the planet, tacobell.com. All right, so now if I click on that nacho, it's gonna go to Taco Bell, all right? Click and there you go, Taco Bell, okay? That's really all there is to it. It's very easy. Let's talk about the one, these two little things here though. So this right here. What makes this work together is that the map has a name. Notice it says image map. That name can be anything, right? Maybe a more appropriate name is Beavis, okay? Then this, inside the image, you use this property called use map and you say, hey, which map am I supposed to use? I'm supposed to use the Beavis map, right? As long as you call this by name, you will use that map. Why does that matter? Well, because you can, let's go back over here to this tool. And where'd you go? Right here. So I'm gonna change this circle here to be on his forehead, right there in the center of his face. Show me the code. And I'm gonna just grab this. Now down here, I'm gonna paste this in. Notice this is a different image map now. And we'll call this butthead, call this butthead. All right, so at the moment, I'm using the Beavis image map, which means wherever you are, that, oh, I have two copies of the image. I don't, didn't want that, let me get rid of that. So right now, that's clickable, that is not. See it, okay? So now, instead of using the use map called Beavis, I'm gonna use the use map called butthead. Now when I refresh it, right now this is clickable, now, that's not, and that is. Because I told it, don't use this map, use this map, right? You can have, now you can use it with different images too. I can have five images and each one of them has their own map. And you just use the proper name to link them together, okay? Make sure you always put the Octothorpe in front of it, right there. And you, in the name, you do not, you just leave it plain. But in the, when you call it, you put that in there. That's it. There's really nothing else to image maps. Okay, how do you feel about all that? Good? Any questions?